I get the feeling in your life there wasn't ever a man who didn't want something from you. Like you never had, you've never experienced the kind of love or support where there's no sexual agenda or some quid pro quo, you know? Yeah. I was even thinking about this part of your life where, you know, you go right to Playboy, you're in Hefner's mansion. And then even when they wanted to hire you on Baywatch and they wanted to, you know, they had to contact the Playboy mansion to get you. Like you didn't even have the proper representation. Hefner wasn't looking out for you. Hefner made money off of you, uh, as many people did. The Baywatch posters, everything else. You were a marketable item, and I think everyone saw you that way. And you never had the kind of representation. Like, your contract with Baywatch should have been negotiated by someone in a professional relationship who didn't want to be sexual with you or want to make money off of you uh, in some inappropriate way. Am I correct? Well, yeah, and Mike, and it's funny because my kids are very, obviously, very protective of me, and they think, "How could this happen?" I mean, Brandon was just looking at my Baywatch residuals, and you know, he was like, "You make like a thousand dollars a year on Baywatch residuals, like in total." Right? Um, how's that possible? Why? Why did um, Playboy represent you on your deal with Baywatch and stuff like that? Like, oh, like, like married like, with children, with everything, because the only play was, the only way people could get a hold of me was through Playboy, because I, I didn't have an agent. And, and I didn't so, think Playboy. I would, why did I need an agent? I didn't think I was going to be an actress. I thought I was going home any minute. I was going to. I'll stay here as long as I'm working, and I just kept on going. See, that makes me angry because Playboy had no business representing you on your contracts. That you started to well, sign. Well, there was. A, I'm sure there was at some point there were lawyers and things involved, but just the very beginning, you know, you don't expect to um, have a career as an actress. I don't know. I wasn't. That wasn't even on the list of things to do. I wasn't sure uh, what was going to happen. So, eventually, yeah, you do get representation, and I know I had like the number three selling Mattel toy, like the Barbie, but I didn't get anything from those kind of things. That drives me insane. I mean, wh- why? <laughs> why didn't you? Or get Amazon it? Prime, you know, now streams Baywatch. I don't get anything for that. But we didn't have any, you know, like there was no such thing as streaming back then. We there's four channels. I mean, I'm back in the, you know, ABC, NBC, CBS, Fox. We didn't yeah. have syndication, and Baywatch was one of the first syndicated shows. So it wasn't like Friends, where they were making millions an episode. It was, it was, um, yeah. just before that, 